Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. I figured I'd kind of talk about some video game stuff. I know, I know this isn't your favorite thing in the world, but it's one of my favorite things in the world. And as I'm getting back into gaming again, um, I, I want to share, share it with the world. Uh, maybe some of you, uh, some of my newest members uh, of this channel, maybe gaming wasn't your thing. But maybe I can change your mind. And, you know, you don't have to watch this if you don't want to. But I want to give my opinion on a game. And I'm going to have a couple videos uh, for the rest of the year that's going to have to do with gaming. Um, then we'll have our uh, yearly recap as well as doing our plans for the next year. So we got to try to get that all in tune. But I wanted to talk about a game. Something I've been looking forward to for a while. No, it's not God of War, which I just finished God of War, by the way. And we'll talk about that here, hopefully soon. Maybe in the next video. I want to try to get it out before the end of the year. But anyways, this is a game that I've been looking forward to for maybe a couple years now when they first announced it. Uh, this is from the creators of the original Dead Space, which I don't know if you guys ever heard of Dead Space. It's a sci-fi horror masterpiece. Uh, kind of in the veins of Resident Evil 4 in space, but uh, more sp spooky it, and downright disgusting in some parts. Uh, Death Space 1 and 2 are two of my favorite games. Uh, number 3 is... Number 3. EA. EA, okay? And that makes me worried about the Dead Space remake that comes out the first part of next year if it doesn't get pushed back. This game is called The Callisto Protocol. And like I said, whenever first I heard about it, it's by a team, I think they're called Striking Distance, uh, made from the original uh, guys be behind Dead Space, especially the studio head. I think it's Schofield or something like that. I forget. But anyways, I was really excited oh. for this. I saw the trailer. And Motion I was... detected at the porch door. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you, Alexa. But anyways, anyways, I, I was excited about this because a I love survival horror games and the resurgence of horror games in the last few years of things like Resident Evil coming back, uh, Outlast, the Slender, the Back Rooms, Amnesia, uh, Phasmophobia, stuff like that. It's all mainstream now. Horror is like back with a vengeance. But a lot of it's the same old shit. First person hide and go seek kind of stuff. And that's okay. That's okay. I do like my horror games. I, I do like being chased down the hallway in a horror game with no way of protecting myself. Uh, probably one of the best games I played last year was Visage. And it was a straight up PT style horror game. But anyways, they show previews for the Callisto Protocol. And... It, it just had, it's just like, man, this is speaking to me. Uh, this is like Dead Space. It's my, the creators of Dead Space. The graphics are great. The gameplay looks great. Um, it looks disgusting and gory. Everything I want in a horror game. And more previews came out. And it kept on looking better and better and better. And this month in December, I, I forget, I it was the third or the sixth, I forget. But it finally came out. And it's become one of the most divisive games of 2022. And what I mean by that, I mean you either really like this game, you really hate this game, or somewhere right in the middle. And I sit there right in the middle. Uh, I was disappointed in this game. Didn't live up to my expectations. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Um, was it good? Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good. It's there. There is a good game in this game. If you dig through through it, you will find the good game. Uh, had great ideas. Uh, some things fell flat, obviously, and we'll talk about one here in a minute. And the story, besides the fact that you've seen this before in movies and other games, it's nothing new. It's by the numbers, um, nothing truly shocking. Not like the original Dead Space. Uh, very slim, similar to Dead Space, though. Very similar. They they could have called this game Dead Space. Like, a sequel to Dead Space. And I would have believed them. I mean, it, it's like Dead Space. 
Uh, the game looks amazing, by the way. Uh, the atmosphere, the environments, the dismemberments, the graphics of the facial ca the facial capture, uh, some, of, some of the enemies, which there's not a lot to choose from in the variety of the enemies. Uh, unlike the Dead Space, you had like the uh, the Rippers, <laughs> Slicers, I'm thinking Bioshock, well, whatever there are. Those, those was different enemies that felt different to fight. In the Callisto Protocol, I feel like I'm fighting the same thing over and over and over, and there's no difference. That includes even the bosses. And yes, there are traditional bosses in this game. But that brings me to the fact that while you're in combat, and combat is a big part of the game, and for you to have a successful game, the combat has to be good. And this is where the game falters. And that is due to the fact that the combat only works on a very, very person-to-person uh, -person basis. Um, it falls apart when you start adding more than one enemy to the mix. Uh, of course, you have things like the gravity-type gun where you can throw enemies into uh, cl places you know they, they're... They put spikes on the wall and fans that are... This would be an OSHA nightmare. That if, if OSHA was to come through this game and it was actually auditing, this would be like, shut this fucker down. <laughs> but the combat, the combat, and I hear this a lot. It's like Punch-Out. I don't know if you guys play Punch-Out, but whenever you're fighting Mike Tyson and he throws a punch, you press the directional button, you either go this way or you go that way. In this game, it's very similar. You have a have an opening where the enemy throws a punch. You are able to have a little bit of time where you can push over and avoid the attack. And you can do this until the enemy stops, then you can attack. Um, and, you know, you go through the same attacks. You have your melee weapon, which you can upgrade all your weapons throughout the game. There are several weapons in the game. Uh, lots of guns. Uh, nothing feels like the makeshift guns like... On Death Space, where you're using tools like engineering tools, not like assault rifles and stuff, but that stuff's in the closer protocol. Um, but, anyways, whenever you start adding more than one enemy to the mix, this is where the combat doesn't work. Um, you know, you'll be evading someone, then you have three other enemies coming at you, and they can stop your evasion. Which I don't know if they're doing this. They've done this to be like, hey, uh, this is going to be raise more tension. But some, for the most part, you can't leave an area until you kill all the enemies. This is a corridor shooter. This is go, slow walk. Ah, oh, spooky thing. Ah, oh, five, six dudes, you got to fight them. Can't leave until you kill them. That's, it's that kind of game. It's a regular ass video game. Like from back in the day. You bought the game. Uh, it had a single-player campaign, and that's it. Um, but the combat just doesn't work. It's, it's it's a great idea. Don't get me wrong, it's a great idea. And like I said, if you want to take all the bad things of this game, there is a decent thing in here. It's just not there yet. And a good example is Assassin's Creed. I know it's not even in the same universe or the same type of game, but hear me out for a second. When the first Assassin's Creed game came out, it was a spiritual successor to uh, Prince of Persia. Now, me, I never played Prince of Persia. Uh, I owned them, but I never played them. But there was mainly action games with uh, time mechanics. And Assassin's Creed came out. Everybody's like, man, this game looks amazing. And Ubisoft was blowing the hype up on these games. Making it look amazing. It don't it, it it did look amazing. But when the game came out, it just wasn't there. The idea was there, but it wasn't complete. Uh it was repetitious to begin with. Uh very clunky, and some of the story beats just fell flat. Um and some of the story was stupid, just just to let you know. I'm an Assassin's Creed fan, and I thought it was stupid. But the Callisto Protocol is like that. It took Assassin's Creed their second attempt to actually fully realize 
what they was aiming for. And I think, I think Striking Distance can take the feedback they got from this game, take that, take the same concept, sprucing up the combat, sprucing up the story, uh, give me another reason to go back and play again. Don't worry about what fucking actor, famous actor you get in here. I think a lot of money was spent to get Josh Damel or whatever his name is in here. I, I mean, I guess to sell your game, you want a pretty face, a recognizable face. But to me, like it, that normally doesn't sell a game. To me, it's like, oh, okay, it's cool. He's in there, but... You know, I didn't play the game uh, because he's in it. I played the game because it said the guys that created fucking Dead Space made this game. That's why. I didn't fucking buy it because that guy's from Transformers. No, I don't really care. I never did care for the whole, let's put a famous actor in the game and let's make people like, boy, games are really something now. Just fuck that shit. The story does fall flat. Story does fall flat. Like I said, you've played this game before. You're probably sitting there, it's like, man, you're, you're making this game not sound good at all. It is. It's a good game. Fundamentally, it's there. Just, it's not there. You have a puzzle missing some pieces. And I think if they continue this as a franchise, the game will be better. Maybe the second game, Callisto Protocol Part 2 or uh, whatever. The Last of Us Part 3, Callisto Protocol. Um, <laughs> don't do that. But it, but anyways, yeah, the Callisto Protocol was just wasn't there for me. You know, I finished the game. I was so disappointed. Uh, the boss fight at the end was by the numbers. It was easy. Um, the game had a lot, I played this on Series X, uh, a lot of crashes, there was a lot of crashes where the game would completely just die and I'd have to start, and this happened twice at the end of the game, after you finished the first, that last boss, and I didn't believe the characters, I didn't believe in the performances, some of the facial stuff was awkward. Uh, it was like this uncanny valley thing. It's it's there, but it's not there yet. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Don't spend seventy dollars on this game. Don't. This is a good example of don't pre-order a game. Uh, yeah, I buy games and I usually review them. Uh, and I'm you shouldn't do that. You should lead by example. But I don't really. But anyways. If this game comes out on Game Pass, uh, or thirty dollars, thirty dollars is fine. You get a eight to ten hour experience. You can stop it, and if you want to, you can buy the season pass. Which I don't. The last time I checked, the only thing that was coming out was uh, death animations. Which the death animations and the gore and the graphics are insanely good. Uh, top top notch there. Um, but. If you want to talk about a game that was one of my most disappointing games of 2022, Callisto Protocol will be at the very top. Guys, I, I hope you liked this video. Feel free to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.